sorry, sorry. We're gonna get there. Really no words, no words to be spoken for this. I, if you don't know, Coldplay. Who doesn't like Coldplay? It's a Coldplay mm -hmm. album. Who doesn't like Coldplay? Mm -hmm. This is one of the most angelic albums I've ever heard in my life from beginning to end. It's a good album. It is. It's a good CD. It's something that they did to the vinyl copy. It's just butter. It's just butter. It's so good. We'll play some good music. Man. And it's really, I mean, it's really quite nice. And they have some uh, artwork in here. It's a really unique sound. It's kind of like a, it is that unique sound. When some of that okay. music come on, you kind of know it's cold playing. You know? So, I mean, look at that. Very colorful sleeves. Like, so if you wanted to take it out of, you know, the big case that I showed you, they have individual sleeves for that. And then they have extra sleeves, I guess, if maybe if you wanted to use it for something else. Um, and then here's this. It's like a uh, like a giant album sleeve. You know how they put the album with the, the things and stuff. Um, I got all the guys there. Yeah, something. here's the back. I mean, they gave you a whole experience, which is what albums are all about. I mean, that's kind of, that's what you lost with CDs. You lost things like this whole experience with the artwork and messages and everything. I mean, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. If you want to, you can Google it, you can look it up. But I mean, isn't that not beautiful? Yeah, one of my favorite bands of all time. Oh, yeah, I mean. A top 10 for me was, because that's part of my. I grew up on Coldplay. Well, big reason as to why I went to the Art Institute of Houston. I mean, Taylor Swift and Coldplay. Def Jam. Always need a Def Jam. LL Cool J. Control Myself. So, a little a little closer to more recent history. A little closer to more recent history. A little closer to more recent history. Okay, then he had got J-Lo all up on there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that was a good song. Yeah. Woo! Okay, moving on. Okay, so we threw in a little comedy. Because not all vinyl is music. You have other things too. Sweet. Now, look. Pops. We're not going to talk about the elephant in the room. We're just going to address <laughs> how funny that this man is. Anyway. And I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not, I'm not getting rid of it. Look, whatever happened, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Who am I to say what did happen? Big and if time it did, bill. if it did, who am I to judge? I don't know. I'm not talking about that. This happened way before any of all of that came out. And I, I the artistry, I have it. It's funny. If you want it, go get it. If you don't support, fine. Whatever. Move right along. Sunny and share. Because why not? Why not Sonny and Cher? I mean, Sonny and Cher. You know what I mean? They're doing like how he used to do it as hell. That's right? how she, Cher, used to do her hair. I got you, babe. And then she... Okay, I see it. You're not familiar with the Sonny and Cher. I know who they are. Why you doing this? Okay. And it opens up like a little book here. Remember, don't judge. It's how the books you see look, okay? You have what? That's how the books look, look, used to look. Oh, when did you go to school? What? How old are you? All right, anyways. Um, all right, so we have Lana Del Rey. Now, if you're into, like, some psychedelic, funky, tripped out kind of music with, that is, like, laced in R&B, here you go. Here you go. This girl has a category all on her own, and this is, I think, my favorite album from her, and I believe it is her first one this is the one that has summertime sadness on it which is like one of her, like our main biggest hits but man this this album here is i mean psychedelic for real i mean it's uh i don't know how to describe it she's very she's she's got another voice that really is like just butter just whoa the range is very good, very good. I recommend. Let me tell you about the Glenn Miller. Okay, if you're not familiar, which you should be, I'm because not. okay, look, not everyone is into big band, especially this generation. It it it, it ended way before we were even thought of. It died out before our parents were born. 
But if you know any little piece of inkling of Glenn Mil uh, about Big Band, you, you've heard Glenn Miller. Even if you don't know that you've heard the Glenn Miller band. If you've heard Big Band, it was probably him. Because, let me tell you, Glenn Miller was the, his band, it was, it was the, the, the NSYNC of his day. If that makes sense to anyone. The boys to men of the day. I don't know. Whatever you people are into. I really got into Glenn Miller. Here's why. Golden Girls. There was there's a couple of songs that he plays that is that are always in Golden Girls episodes. And I'm like, what what is that? Because when I started, as I got older, I noticed that those songs were played in a lot of movies. Like uh, The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. And, and there's a bunch of other movies. I'm like, it's always the same songs. Who is that? So I looked it up. It was Glenn Miller. And actually in the Golden Girls, they mentioned him. But if you, and, and they kind of made a joke. It sounds kind of dark. But it sometimes that passed when, you know. Anyways, the point, I know I, you all probably can't follow along. But the, the, the thing is, it's kind of a dark story around Glenn Miller. The man went missing. He went missing. They never found him. So they, they, you know, they pronounced him, you know, they, uh, you know, dead after some time. But yeah, it's a mystery. He just, he went missing, I think on, I don't want to misspeak, but it's a bit, it's a very interesting story. Look it up, Glenn Miller. They never found him. He just kind of disappeared. It's very, it's very all interesting tea. And when you look at, uh, look up the songs, the, the two, well, the one song that I know you guys have heard, Moonlight Serenade. We almost danced to it at our wedding. Uh, nice, Betty, Carter. If you are into jazz, you know this wonderful, wonderful person. You know her. And she needs no words. That's a nice cover. Let me see. Nobody has a voice like hers. Another comedy, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy was recently on... Stop being weird. Just stop. Oh. Just keep being weird. Eddie Murphy was recently on SNL. Uh, probably, uh, the, if you watched it, probably the first time that you've watched it uh, since he left, according to him. His words, not mine. Lil Mo, the homie, grew up with her. I mean, if this is not a 2000s outfit, I've never. The I've beans, just, the braids, the shirt, dude, the pants. I love her. I think she's underrated. And every five years or so. I had this conversation with Shonda, and she swears up and down, oh, I don't remember who that is. The girl who sang Superwoman. Or Fabulous. With Fabulous. She did songs with Missy. And, and people are like, Lil Mo who? You guys know Lil Mo. She did songs with John Rule. Well, some of these people, some of these people, uh, people probably didn't listen. Oh, probably, but probably she too just. young. That's more so in our age bracket. Her voice is everything. Good album. Check it out. Moving on. Motown, a little more Motown. Got to keep the Motown in it. I mean, some Motown has some of the best albums that you will ever hear. Oh, more recent. It's Queen Latifah. I used to go hard back in the day, too. Um, Queen Latifah used to have some good music, too, people. Back in the day, she used to go out. Queen Latifah. I hope people don't know that either. I mean, you know, Who doesn't actors, know that? You know Little twelve-year-olds? Well, a lot of people know. Not that they, well, yeah, people know for more so like acting, but yeah, she's uh, she was a rapper. Before. People our uh, age know that she rapped because we are we are old enough to remember that. I well, we know, yeah, but some people really don't know. You'll be surprised. Our, our age, a little bit younger, yeah. Did they live under a bed or what? Because well, literally, probably. Some of the movies, I don't even really watch a lot of movies. I know for her, Ben Abbey used to rap. That's the only reason I knew about Queen Latifah. Then obviously... You and I, T-Y. You and I, T-Y. That's the unity. Queen Latifah also did children's books. They're pretty good. Cherish. I don't know if y'all remember Cherish. Cherish was a really popular wannabe Destiny's Child group. I'm just... Don't say that. That sounded mean. That sounded yeah, mean. They about two good songs. I was a... They only had two. Oh. Well, I mean, they had two good Two good really songs. good songs. I don't know why 
they didn't go hey. further than what they did. They were really good. They were from Atlanta. They were. Uh, it was two sisters, right? There. They it's were like adorable. Four. I thought it was four. It was four. It was four girls. I don't know who all the siblings to who, but it was four girls in the group. Huh. Jazzy Faye produced them. I think discovered them as well. If you're familiar with Jazzy Faye, this was one of his groups. Cherish. And from Atlanta, the the, the movie the. Well, the well, they the song really was that song was everywhere too with uh young bloods. Yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. You know why we rockin' do it, do it. So do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> so back to little Mo. Clearly, I'm a fan. Okay, come on, round table entertainment. I don't. That means nothing to me. I'm sorry if it's supposed to. Hot girls featuring Little Wayne. So she did a song with Little Wayne. She had to be somebody. Yeah. You know, Lil Wayne did Put him out. Put him out. Total. Bad boy. Total. One of the most successful uh, groups from Bad Boy. All in the videos. You already did that joke. And it. I'm sorry. That never gets all. All in the videos by Diddy. Diddy was all in everybody's videos. He was. But that joke is like. It's never played out. It's worn. It's worn. It didn't land well. It's all right. Man. Anyways, so total trip and remix. Just a single. No, nothing fancy. Nothing really to see here. Hey, volume four. A collection of original big hits. Okay, so this here. Okay. We got, uh, this is going to be your real old school here so supremes marvin gay four tops miracles if that's your gig get this album on there i don't know if y'all can see that but whatever x to the z exhibit <laughs> y'all remember cars i mean no 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 pimp my ride i had the video game did you have the video game pimp my ride i just loved the show you didn't live you didn't live if you didn't have the video game. Though, right? And I hated his music. I just liked the, the TV show. I hated his music. That's very rude to say. Well, I'm I don't honest. know. I was got, I was an exhibit fan. I, I liked his voice. Um, and then I also really liked Pit My Ride. Where is he? Someone tell me. Someone tell me in the comment section. Where is, what, what's he doing now? He was on a video game. I think I've seen him recently somewhere. Yeah, have Vendetta. People remember that game. Fighting game. Irv Gotti. If you're familiar with the murdering team. Oh my goodness, a receipt. Murder. Don't try to expose me. Oh, I'm going to leave this in here. Irv Gotti, the remixes. So you're going to have like your Shanti Foolish on here, your OG remix, me and my boyfriend, you know? Then you have features like Tony Braxton, Nas, Tupac. I mean, a nice little situation here. If you're into Marty Inc., if you're into Irv Gotti, check it out. Good out. Who's this? Who is it? You know who this is. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them who it is. Who is it? I've never seen that. What? I've never seen. You've that. never seen Happy Days. I've heard of it. Sunday, never it. Monday, Happy no, Days. No. I've never, wa I never wanted to watch it. I've seen it. I know what it is. I just never watched it. That was a huge part of my childhood, which is why I got this, because... I ain't gonna say nothing negative about it, but I just never really watched the TV. I mean... Hey, like no? Grease. Like Grease. Ah, ah, ah. I'm not a Grease fan. I, I'm not gonna disrespect Grease. I get it. Everybody likes it, but I am not a big fan of Grease. Well, I was very excited to show you guys my Fonzie favorites <laughs> Happy Days album. I thought I was gonna impress them. A lot of people probably like uh, Happy Days. You a know, lot of people do like look, Happy Days. Look, I thought it was cool. Look, obviously, this came out before I, I was born, but. TV Land. It's still a classic. TV Land blessed us 90s kids with these classics. Oh. I loved Happy Days. I used to watch it every night before bed. That was my jam. It was my jam. All those old shows. The Mary, the Mary Tyler Moore show. Who can turn the world on with her smile. And say, you're gonna make it after all. She throw the head up in the air. What's that 
that one show used to come on at like four in the morning. What was it called? What was that old show? Like a war show. Damn it. Mesh? There we go. Oh. Yeah, man, okay, I look. Mesh, that was one of my grandmothers. I didn't watch that one that much. I only knew about it because it would come on a specific night. What about, specific the, three, time every what about night. the Three Stooges? Yeah, I watched Three, the three, three Stooges. Stooges. Was I liked a lot of those old shows. They were my gen. Oh, I love the Brady Bunch. You like the Brady Bunch? Oh, I could watch the Brady Bunch every day. I love the Brady Bunch. Oh, okay, we're getting off on a tangent. Love all of those old shows. I mean, great. Fonzie, a, you know, we love it. Sad for the song. Ding, 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 ding. He really did die from the big one. Mm-hmm. Air Fox with the stuff, man. Kenny G. Now look, a lot of people well Who doesn't know who Kenny G is? Yeah, we're not gonna discuss going to that. But a lot of people say that Kenny G is watered down. But you know what? I don't know about that. Maybe you could play the hell of our saxophone. Call it what you want. I liked it. It was for someone. Now, is it for, people have to understand there's different classes of jazz. But it wasn't too many white guys doing jazz music back then. People got to remember. It wasn't that Not many. Not this type of jazz. No, nah, that's what I'm saying. Not that many. So for him to come out and make some good jazz music, got to give credit where it's due. Uh, you know, look, is it is it the more traditional style of jazz music? No. That, that. One would say takes a lot of technical skill and or technique. That's up for debate. But if you like this style of jazz, I think he was, I think he was damn good. I think he was right sweat. But yeah, it was very divided. I mean, most people, either you love him or you hate him. But uh, every black woman in the 90s, I mean, loved it. Kenny G was cool, man. He ain't yeah. bought him in though. Yeah, so look at him. Adorable. Another total. Clearly, I'm a fan. Clearly, I'm a fan. Who did you compare them to? Uh, what do you mean? Well, I would say there was, you know. Uh, and who would I compare them to at the time or like? Like for today? for us, like a, a younger group now. Oh, so. Kind of like close they... to like Destiny Child. Well, you know. We don't have a girl group right now. The last, for the last real girl group that we had was that was really popular was Fifth Harmony, and they mm. haven't been together for a while. Fifth Harmony is the one with uh, Camila Cabello, who has been solo for some time now, and she's thriving. And also, Norm Normani mm. is also from Fifth Harmony, but she's just recently kind of come out with some stuff. She just did a, Normani just did a song with. Uh, Megan the Stallion, who is a rapper right now, so that would probably get her on a little more. But uh, but Fifth Harmony was more of like a Destiny's Child. We haven't really had anyone that's like a total yeah, bring in a back. while. 2020, bring that type of music back, please. I'm not saying nothing wrong, but you got out now. But the fact we haven't had a type of group like that in some years. Yeah. Um, yeah, the 702s and the. You know, the TLC and the total because mm -hmm. cause TLC wasn't even like this because all three of these girls sang. This was more of like a, a SWV style or an escape, but they were more hip hop than that. Total was very different. They kind of almost, I almost want to put them in a class of their own. Yeah, that's all I was going to say. It's yeah, not even like TLC. You can't even, TLC you can't is kind of a, a class. Yeah, yeah, you can't replicate those groups anymore, man. Yeah, I just said them because it was three. It was three people. But the difference with TLC is. That's kind of the one of the only groups where each individual person was the a main character. Normally with a group you have one person who's up front and then you have like the supporting actresses or actors. You don't it's you don't ever see where all three people are like I'm just glad know? I got to grow up on that type of music, so yeah, I'm cool. Absolutely. I got to grow up listening to it, so all right. Well last but not least Kumo D, a classic. Still want that hat. Yeah, the hat, the hat is epic. It's so, definitely. I mean, this is another. This is an album that you could just put it on and let it play for three hours, and you won't even know you let it play for three hours. It's the groove. A lot of albums I can't sit through nowadays. Well, because even mean, some like you'll skip through it, but like listening to the whole album, it gotta be. 
I don't know. Even some of my favorites. It, it just depends, man. It, it depends. Well, I, I think that was it. Guess what? I did not keep count. So as I edit this video, I'm just... You you guys will know how many it was. But, uh, well, no, I'll know before you do. Um, future me will know. Me right now has no idea how many it was. But as I edit it, I'm going to put the little numbers down here at the bottom. Okay, so... Like I asked you in the beginning, please let me know in the comment section down below or come find me on Twitter or come find me on Instagram or come find me spiritually. Come find me and let me know what you think about my music collection. Drag me for it. Now, obviously, this is not an inclusive depiction of what my musical tastes are as my uh, music likings are very eclectic. I love a lot of things. He likes everything. So. so, yes, I do. I love a little bit of everything. Anyways, that's all that we have for you guys today. And thank you so much for stopping by for another Amy Brigade Wednesday. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and click uh, the thumbs up and give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and click the big red subscribe button so that um, you're subscribed. And, and, and then click the post notification bell so that, you, so that you get notified every time we upload a brand new video. I can't talk today. It's just a day. It's a day. It's one of those days. I don't know if you guys picked up on it, but it's it, it's a day. Am I right? It's been a day already. Little Edward's first episode of his podcast is already up and streaming on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and other uh, streaming platforms. You know? So find him. E-R-3. That's E-R-I-I-I. Okay? Second episode will be up on Sunday. He's going to upload a new podcast. Can you not cough while I'm promoting your podcast? <coughs> Sorry. Here I am doing the Lord's work. Are you done? Anyways, Edward's already gotten some great feedback on his podcast. So thank you to everyone who's already listened to it. If you haven't heard it, like I said, it's there. Go listen to it so you're all caught up. For the next podcast episode, which will be up on Sunday. It will be every Sunday. Say it with me, people. Sunday. Okay? All right. Um, come follow us on all of our other social media, and we will see you next Wednesday. <laughs> Woo!